Hi everyone, haul time for the month. This is going to cover everything that I have purchased or been given by friends throughout the month of March. So let's start off with the items that I've purchased and then we'll delve into what I got gifted by some friends and family this month. So the first item that I bought was MAC's lipstick in the shade Mare. Now I haven't bought a MAC lipstick in what feels like forever, but I had the incredible opportunity to meet Tessa Virtue of Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer ice dancing fame. I had a few questions that I wanted to ask her and honestly when it came down to it I forgot almost all of them, but one that was stuck in the back of my head was one that Steph had said that her friend wanted to know what lipstick shade she was wearing during the Moulin Rouge ice dance finale and I for whatever reason managed to remember this question and she told me that it is max lipstick in Mare. Now it is a matte formula. It's pretty basic honestly. It's one of those my lips but better shades and I was really surprised that she chose this shade because all of her dresses that she always wears for this performance are bright red or a dark red. So I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense that you would choose like a neutral shade to wear, but I guess I would have just expected to wear a red to match the red dress. But um, no, it's Max Mare. It's a My Lips But Better shade for sure. It's beautiful on, it wears flawlessly, and I really just got this because I am a huge Tessa Virtue fangirl now. And um, it's just like a nice memory. It's, it's makeup and that's something I love. And I got the chance to talk to her, so she managed to talk to me a little bit about makeup and I, just wanted to own a little piece of that. So huge thank you to Steph for telling me the question from her friend because I would not have thought to ask this, which is ridiculous because I'm so into makeup. Why wouldn't I be asking her about her makeup? But yeah, I've got this lipstick as, you know, a keepsake of that interaction. I literally ran out the next day and purchased it. So yeah, I'm happy to have it. The next item is not that interesting, but totally necessary. This is the Quo nail polish remover. This one is the regular one, which is ideal for all nail types. I did used to buy the strengthening nail polish remover, but I've since read that a strengthening product actually turns your nails quite brittle because it's trying to make them harder. In general, I don't want my nails to be harder. I want them to be more flexible. So if I should happen to bend them for whatever reason, they're not just gonna snap because they're hard. I want them to be flexible so they'll be a little bit softer overall. Anyway, I didn't see anything that was like, um, not softening because that wouldn't make any sense, but I didn't see something that was hydrating. So I just went for the regular bottle this time. So this next item was actually an accident because I'd purchased it for my mom, but it turned out to be the wrong shade. So when we were in LA in January, we went to a Kiko store by the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And my mom loves Kiko. I think it's pretty much her favorite makeup brand now. So she sent me in with a list of products to buy and this was one of them, but I think we must have screwed up the product type. So this is their Lasting Precision Automatic Eyeliner and Coal and the shade number is four. Now, I don't know if we screwed up what kind of pencil it was because I'm pretty sure she was looking for some sort of a brown and this is like a dark red, which I'm really excited about, but it just wasn't gonna work for her. And this is what annoys me about numbers for makeup items. Inglot does this too. I mean, you can tell me the number four and it could be any color in the world, right? But if you give me a name like Deep Amber or Brown or something, at least I have a hope in hell of knowing that you don't mean like a dark red if you're looking for like a blue or something like that. So this one turned out to be, like it's a gorgeous color, but it's, it's really, really like a copper, not a copper, more like a, how, what would you describe that metal as? It's like a burnt red copper, if that exists. It's a gorgeous color, but it's not something my mom would ever wear. So she tried it on once and she's like, I think you get more use out of it. So I'm happy to have it. Didn't intend to keep it because I bought it for her, but worked out in my favor. I was also in Ottawa this past month for like a few days and my friend Allison gave me like a combined Christmas birthday present. And I thought this was kind of interesting. It's called Undercarriage. I'm not really sure what the brand name is. That might actually be the brand name. It says undercarriage deodorant cream with powdery finish for under the arms, the breasts, and the belt. And this is in the scent coconut lime. Now, I thought this was really interesting because I get a ton of chafing underneath my breasts for my sports bra on really long runs. Like if we're talking 12 to 21 kilometer runs, I get like really bad rashes underneath my chest. And they're pretty painful. And I've been told to go check out something like Sports Glide or something like that. But honestly, I'm, I'm too lazy. I just haven't picked it up and I just deal with horrible rashes. Um, so when Allison gave me this, I was like, 
how the heck did you even know I needed this? And this is fantastic. It smells really good. I haven't tried it yet, but I, oh yeah, coconut lime, that's a good one. But I'm curious to see how this is gonna hold up on long runs because that rash that you get underneath is just atrocious because it's there for like a week. And when you go for your next run, you basically just open the sores up again. So I'm curious to see how this will work. And this might be good for something like if your uh, thighs rub together in the summer and you're wearing a skirt, you might want to try this thing too. I think it's really neat. And the very last item I have to talk about is a highlighter. Now my friend Samantha, or Samantha Jane as she is known on YouTube, was decluttering her highlighters and she's like, is there anything you want in there? And I was like, I don't know, what do you think I'd like? So she pulled out the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter and I'm so excited to try this one. Uh, she's already tried it, so it's not a brand new product, but I love the butter bronzer so much. I wear that all the time. And I was curious about these. I just hadn't picked them up. Uh, it's such a weird texture. It's spongy. It's kind of like the ColourPop shadows, actually, but it feels as light as air. It's more of a, this one looks like a bit of a silver pink shade. It's in the color pearl. Um, maybe there isn't a ton of pink in it, but it's, yeah, there's a little bit of pink in there. But this is a color that was just not gonna work for her skin tone, so she passed it on to me and I'm excited to try it out. Oh, uh, it doesn't smell quite like the bronzer. It smells a little bit more artificial. <laughs> but yeah, I just love this range from Physicians Formula. They've knocked it out of the park with the whole butter theme, so I'm excited to try this highlighter out. In case you wanna see Sam's epic highlighter declutter, by the way, I'll link that down below. I think she had like 90 highlighters. That's so many. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.